Good 630 Eyewitness News bringing you in-depth coverage. Providence Mayor Jorge Lorza just delivered his State of the City address and WPRI.com reporter Dan McGowan joining me now. Thank you, Dan. Uh, unlike uh, the State of the State that we heard from Governor Raimondo, the State of the City does not include the budget. But of course, finances are really what everybody's talking about when it comes to Providence. And that's what you've really covered looking ahead uh, before the speech even happened, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you're exactly right. The, the mayor won't deliver his, um, his actual budget address probably until sometime late in April and that's standard this happens every year um, typically but yeah the city's finances are, are it's a really difficult time for the city and you, know, you talk to people they say well state aid has been cut over the last six seven years actually gone up a little bit but it, it, you know going back to 2008 so that's one of the biggest problems but you know when you look at immediate problems last year five million dollar deficit over the next five years they're thinking it could approach 20 million dollars in terms of a structural deficit and then the big picture item is the uh, uh, long term, the pension obligations, $900 million as of the end of uh, the 2015 fiscal year. So real big problems the city's facing. It's led to a, a bond rating downgrade just last week by Fitch um, and some other major problems. So a lot of people are very concerned about what's going on in the city right now. Now, when we talk about budget issues, is bankruptcy an option that's on the table for the city? Because it doesn't seem like there's any uh, relief in sight. It seems like the deficit problem is just going to keep getting worse. You know, you're exactly right. I mean, the problem is we haven't seen any real plan to to improve the city's finances over the next, say, 5, 10, 15 years. That, and, and certainly, there's lots of people. I get a lot of calls all the time. Do you think the city should just go into bankruptcy? Things like that. When you talk to the governor, you talk to the mayor, you talk to the city council, there's no one in any leadership position right now that says bankruptcy is a good idea. Everyone says it's kind of a last resort option. There needs to be cuts. There needs to be more state aid, as I said. And they think that's the way to solve this problem moving forward. But certainly, you hear, certainly from angry, the angrier people, the people who like to really um, you know, comment on the city's uh, budget and stuff like that, that's certainly something that's talked about. Really quick, what are the things then that Mayor Lorza had to tout about his uh, mayoral reign so far? You know, one of the big things they're pointing on, they're really banking on this second year in office for him being a, a big construction season. You know, you look at the Wexford project on the 195 land, the URI Nursing Center, um, some of those uh, uh, hotel projects in downtown, they really think that's going to generate a lot of revenue over the next, say, five, ten years. That could really um, help the city's finances moving forward. All right, WPRI.com reporter Dan McGowan joining me in studio. Thank you so much. And you can read Dan's complete report on the State of the City Address on WPRI.com.